Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina K. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and make sure you turn on that little bell. And when you turn on the bell, make sure you choose all so you know every time I drop a banger, every time I drop a video. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello my babies. Thanks for support. So as you can see by the title, and as you can see by my hair, this is going to be a video basically on how to start a hair business. business a makeup business um a boutique etc 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 i'm gonna start i'm gonna start off by telling you ladies how to start a hair business the reason why i'm able to do that is because i have my own hair business if you do not follow my hair page make sure you follow my hair page it will be linked in the description below and it will also be on the screen um i have a hair company called hollywood bundles I am very, very proud of my hair company. And as you can see, I have an um, out Indian. This is honestly Indian body wave and Indian straight. I just put it in a up, up through, half up, half down. I did me a little triangle bang and I did me some very loose, voluptuous curls. Be um, showing off my hair, um, showing the quality, what it can do um, and stuff like that. So if y'all want this video do y'all want to watch this video y'all want to learn how to start a business make sure you keep watching this video do a quick story time really quick i'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible but i do since i'm telling y'all this is the video that i'm telling y'all how i started my hair business and how to start a hair business i would like y'all to know how i actually started a hair business okay so i'm sure everyone knows a more jada well, she don't go by more Jada no more. But when I started my hair company, she was going by a more Jada. I am that girl that supports everybody. Like I love seeing other black people win. I'm from the hood, so I love to see people that's from the hood getting it out the mud and they actually making it, making something out of it. Um, I love to see girls young doing it. I love to see black women just winning. Like, ah, uh, it just do something to me. Like, I will sit there and cry for another person accomplishing it. But anyway, I was very supportive of Amor Jada, and this is not to bash no one. I'm just giving you a quick story time because this is the true story time on how I started my hair company. Um, so. I basically, I know y'all remember, if y'all followed Amor Jada for a while, y'all will remember that red wig that she had. Um, I will find a picture and I will put it somewhere on the screen. I think the wig was like $250 and I, anybody that know me knows red is my signature color. So I love red. Like red looks so good on me. It makes me look, I'm already looking excited, but it makes me look really more excited. So I love to wear red and the red wig she had, it looked so good. I am not going to lie, I was obsessed with it. Um, I'm going to put the picture right here. The picture went viral of the wig that she had on. This is before I knew about her hair reviews. And this is before I knew about the bad business that she did with other people. Any of other people. And like I said, this is not the bash nobody. But this is my truth. This is my story. So excited for this wig. I, I was telling everybody about the wig. She promoted her hair. You know how I promote my hair. And like she promoted her hair and rubbed her hands through it. You can tell like really, really, really good hair. Like in the videos and stuff that it was really, really good hair. So long story short, I ordered the wig. The wig never came um it went on and it went on three weeks and i still didn't receive a tracking number um and then it went on fourth week and then it went on fifth week and i will never forget after all these weeks passing my birthday is now coming up i dm'd her and she actually dm'd me back and she was like send me your tracking number send me your information da, da, da. so i sent her my information and she said they was gonna handle it, never handle it. She had this email address that was connected to her business, y'all. Everybody emailed that damn email address and that email address never emailed nobody back. <laughs> Look up Amor Jada hair reviews. It's so many bad reviews. And I wish, and this is and this is also a video to tell y'all. Like, even though you want to support somebody and stuff like this make sure you do the research on their business and how they do business you know how before you go to a restaurant you go see how many stars they got you got to do the same thing for like 
when you shopping with black businesses or any business, not just black business, just any business. And that's why my money was stolen from me. Um, so my money was basically stolen from me for I say about a good month and a half. I swear one day I just woke up like this. I said, I'm sick of this. Um, cause I'm very a high maintenance person. Like even before I had my hair cut me, I always got really good hair. Like I will always spend good money on my hair. Like if I got to spend $700 on my hair, I'm going to spend $700 so I can, my hair can look good and I can look good. After not getting a response, getting my money and none of that. And I was like this, you know what? I think I want to open a hair cut. You know that light bulb that clicking. I thought like, okay, if this girl can blow up, get popping, make over a million dollars on our hair company by doing bad business and selling trash hair because even when she sent the hair out even when she did send the hair out it was very very bad hair it was shedding bald spots i mean i'm not gonna get too much into it because it's videos everywhere it's on google it's on youtube it's everywhere and i said if she could make a mil over a million dollars on hair with doing bad business and selling bad hair what the hell you think i can make by doing great customer service, great business, and having great hair, great quality. It was just like a ding dong for me. So that's a quick little story time of how I um started my business. If y'all want more on that, a more Jada story time, because I don't want to ramble too much about that in this video, give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I that'll let me know if y'all want to hear more about that story. Hey, I've been wearing Brazilian hair since the shit literally came out. So, and this is Indian, I don't sell Brazilian, but I was wearing Brazilian before, like, like right before it came out. So I, I'm gonna spend money. I'm gonna make sure if I wear quality, I'm gonna make sure my customers get quality. So, I'm uh, thirsty. All right, I'm coming to open a hair business. I need an account. Um, a bank account. We went to the state center building. If you're from Baltimore, you know what that is. And I went there. We went to pay for my LLC. My hair company is called Hollywood Bundles LLC. It's still like a trademark, meaning um, nobody in the country could have the hair company called Hollywood Bundles. It's so funny because there's a lot of people that come to to me and they say, um, Oh, my hair company used to be Hollywood Bundles and da da da. But if you go to Instagram page and stuff like that, you will not see no page or no website that's Hollywood Bundles because I will be able to sue them because <laughs> it's mine. So, like I said, make sure you get an LLC. I'm going to tell you the number I started with, and it's not big. I didn't start with a huge inventory. If you go watch, um, go check out my old business page. I did not start off with a huge inventory. Um, I actually started off with $1,200. And I know that's probably a lot to some people, but with people with my type of mindset and the numbers like that I do and deal with, that is nothing. That is like a penny kind of. It's like not putting as much, but I started with 1200 and it worked. I went on the internet and I did this all myself. Nobody helped me. Nobody gave me an idea. Like nobody helped me. I literally did this on my own. That's why I want y'all girls to know you don't got to pay for a $500, $1,000 class um, to start your business. You don't got to pay people $1,000 for vendors when you can go find those exact vendors and you might find something better. I did it all on my own. So um, I went on the internet, I went on Google, I started searching for vendors. You never tell nobody your vendor. Don't ever tell nobody who's you getting your hair from because that person can go get the same hair you got and now that is really your competition. Now, it's a lot of us in the hair business, don't get me wrong, but every one of us have different marketing skills different brand ambassador skills different quality hair different hair we all have something different so you don't want the next person to have the same type of hair you have you don't want the them to have the same vendor so i don't care if it's your best friend don't tell nobody your vendor unless you're willing to sell it for them like if you will if you if you really if you're willing to sell it like if you're willing to sell it for like a couple of hundred dollars or something like i actually ever sell my my vendor i'm like obsessed with my hair and i kept 
the same vendor for three years i don't think i will ever switch vendors it, um i did already know about their hair but i did know the quality i did know if it shed or not i did know everything about it i did know if it was 100 percent natural hair which my hair is 100 percent natural hair raw indian tresses that's why it looks really really natural i went to my mother's house on thanksgiving and my little brother said cabrina is that your real hair i should have told him yeah <laughs> he said you lucky even though my hair is my natural hair is really really long um i emailed them they sent me a wholesale list i jotted down everything that i was going to get i made sure it was in my 1200 budget you start off with 500 dollars make sure that it's in your 500 dollar um, budget because you will make a profit once you say when i make when i put in the 20 to 1200 i got back i would say 3500 to 4000 so out of that 3500 and 4000 i took out a 1200 again and put that in my business or you can do it like this and take that whole 3500 and 4000 and put it back in your business that's real boss stuff you hear me or you can take half of it and put it back in your business and then you know start splitting up your money that go in that saving account for that that go in that for that and that go in that for that you want to make you 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 should know you want to know your clientele before you start making your prices because and of course you're not going to have everything perfect because i'm still learning i'm still going in trials and uh, tribulations in the beginning i was trying to make a huge profit and i'm not going to lie i came out with my bundles being very very high but the reason why my bundles was really high because it's the quality of the bundle you pay for what you pay for the quality like and that's anywhere you go when you go into the gucci store you paying a, a few hundred a few thousand because of the quality of their material if i have really great quality hair my hair is not from amazon my hair is not from aliexpress my hair is not that is going to tangle and it's going to it's going to uh uh start shedding and my 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 lace is going to start balding balding and stuff like that i don't even think i ever had a lace that bald so i put the prices on the quality of hair like i said i already knew about hair because i'm very high maintenance and i already knew about the qualities of hair it's crazy i just seen 222 and 555 that's how i know i'm meant to do this video at this time you want to make sure you get the right clientele i'm from baltimore city okay you got your bad bitches that that's like me that the that, that one that's high maintenance that's gonna spend that money when they head ain't got no problem but then you also got the girls that want to be cheap that um really want to look like this and like the bad bitches but don't want to spend to look like it you get what i'm saying they want a discount they want it low and da 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 make sure you target your right audience if you want to sell low end type of hair because you feel like you don't have enough money for the part of your hair then you can start off that way because guess what you have clients it's a lot of girls in that margin and i'm not trying to say this one is better than but it's a lot of people in that margin that want hair and want hair for the low and that might be your field your marketing your clientele i had to learn that that is not my clientele because like i told y'all before i'm very high maintenance I'm quality, quality, quality. You get what I'm saying? And I'm the type, like, when I used to hit people up about my hair, if I was hitting you up about hair, it's because I had my money right then and there, and I really needed hair. Not because I wanted to ask you a thousand questions to be in your business and stuff like that. Just seen 1717, see, manifestation. I'm catching them all. But anyway, um, so you want to make sure you target in the right people. You don't want to, you know have bad hair but you targeting people that love good hair not bad hair but low and lower end hair you get what i'm saying because it's different levels to hair so if you want to have the lower end type of hair because you feel like you so you are you you're surrounding around lower end like clientele then you should do that and guess what you could still make a million dollars you're going to still make a million dollars because let me tell you something about AliExpress and Amazon and all that. People laugh about how their hair cheap and how this and that. Guess what? It's girls every day going on there buying hair because it's in their range. That is their margin. 
Also, make sure you go on websites like Vistaprint and stuff like that. Really pretty. You can add your own little touch. You can also make your website, but um, I suggest so you won't have a lot on you to get someone to make it. And there's a lot of people doing websites for like $50 and stuff like that. You do have to invest in your business. I want y'all to know, for you to make money, you have to spend money. The money will come. Some people like Ari, when she first started her hair business, she said that it took her a whole year to make a hair sale. Everybody is different. I started making hair sales my first year of having hair. I made my first hair sale probably like a week or two after my first shipment. Everybody different, but that don't mean that I'm rich. You got to continuously put it back in your business, back in your business, because the whole point of a business, don't think of it just for now. You got to think of it as being longevity. I think of longevity. I don't think just for now. I know those hundreds of thousands of million dollars is going to come. I'm working on building my brand now, though. Of my bundles. I'm really kind of upset because I really was supposed to do this video as soon as I started my hair company. But, you know, I work with the universe and everything happens on the universe timing, okay? So, um, I wish I had everything, but I'm literally like selling out. I got a few bundles left. Um, I put a few bundle deals on my Instagram. So if you haven't, um, follow me on my Instagram, make sure you follow me now. I do do same day shipping. If you order before three o'clock, my pre puck funnels, my three part closures, Indian straight and Indian body wave and, um, more textures. Um, I'm really just obsessed with this hair. It just give me that selena you know feel like it's just uh so natural you see how natural my hair is like it, it gives you that natural look and it feels so natural it's so soft one thing i can say about my hair company i didn't have my hair company for three years and i've been on and off i am telling you i have yet to get one bad review about my hair and this is another reason how you going to know if you got good hair. If you have returning subscribers. I said returning subscribers. <laughs> if you have returning customers. Hollywood bundles, that's all we had is returning customers. People love my hair. It'd be so soft. They'd be like upset. And I'm going to get in inches 18, 20, and 22. This usually will run you about 250 and i am going to just you know i'm gonna just show y'all 18. this is how it comes in the package don't mind my nails y'all i'm about to get them done um it comes with this on there because you know i don't like for my bundles to just be touching plastic and this is our 18 inch very very gorgeous you rub your hands right through that y'all see that very natural hair raw indian tresses i will not see you wrong so actually i kind of think i'm more jada because like they say everything in your life that happens bad it does not mean that it's a bad thing. A lot of bad things that happen in your life be blessings in disguise. If she never stolen my money from me and took my money from me, I would have probably never opened my hair company. So y'all see how that worked? I want y'all to know that I'm telling you, everything that's bad is not bad. It be blessings in disguise. Just like I thought it was so bad for me leaving Houston and coming back to Baltimore. If y'all want that Houston story time, I keep telling y'all that shit is a banger. If y'all want that story time, comment down below and like this video. But it's very gorgeous. No shedding. I have no shedding. Never had shedding in my hair. No shedding. No shedding. No tangling. As you can see, this hair lasts up to three years and it goes literally right back in the same you know position um also with my hair company i don't know about everybody else's but when it say 18 it's really 20. my um inches are two inches longer than what it say it is literally no cat or not lying um this is inch 22 and like i said we got the protector over it and then we gonna take that off baby and this is inches 22. Look at that gorgeous natural hair, though. 
like very very gorgeous very very nice no shedding no tanging like i said very indian very uh much indian tresses very much full my bundles are very full okay very much full and like i said this is inches 22 gorgeous so i'm gonna put these back i do everything when you first start your business by yourself try to get help or try to pay for help because i like i said it's better for you to pay for it than try to do it and waste all your time and then still not get it right and because i like i said you gotta invest in your business you gotta spend money to make money on my social media you can DM me and I will create your order and I will make sure I send it out that day if it's before three. This is 24, 26, 28, and 30. These usually go around for 10 if I'm selling it as single bundles. Um, but right now I'm doing a bundle deal for 380. So like I said, if you need some gorgeous hair, you need some bundles that's going to last you a really, really long time and you want to get what you pay for. I'm telling you, I have some really, really good hair. My shipping is really, really quick. It takes like one or two days. I ship with USPS and that's it. So if y'all want a part two on how to start a hair business, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment down below. Um, make sure you follow me all on my social media. Um, also follow my hair page. I had to start over on my new hair page. So I, I will really, really be happy if y'all can follow me on my hair page. Make sure you also share this video because I know it's a lot of young girls, young girls, older girls that don't know how to start a hair business and don't have $500, $1,000 for a, a business class. So um, if y'all want to get more in depth, of how you start a hair business like the video leave me a comment down below you can also dm me like all on my um social media and we can have conversations there so um i keep playing in my head because it's so cute it just gave me like clueless vibes um so if y'all guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye